Hello. A few weeks ago, we did uh, some videos on some new stuff that's coming out this year. Skidoo stuff, Polaris stuff. And I like to do my own little builds. So I like to build my sled. And what I noticed is, goddamn, sled sleds aren't getting expensive. Like 10 years ago, sleds are worth like barely even half of what they are today. I mean, like I understand the, the economy and everything and the COVID thing and the war and everything that uh, you, you got to turn a profit. But the price of going out to be able to play on these machines is getting to be absolutely ridiculous. What can we do to make the most expensive OEM sled we can buy? Like, sleds are getting expensive and everything, but, I mean, god damn, they don't need to be that much, man. You can buy, like, three little Chevy Sonics for the price of, like, one one uh, mountain turbo sled off the factory floor now. Ooh, nine most expensive snowmobiles. Ooh, this is old. Oh, here we go. Let's actually check this out real quick. So, 2013, the most expensive snowmobile was, according to this, uh, holy ads... Okay, so for a basically premium sled, uh, cats used to be priced quite a bit more. Um, and you're looking at, this would be US dollar 15399 I'm pretty sure we've gone up a little bit since then. Let's look at another list. This one's old too. What year is this one from? Yeah, this this one's all ranking uh, 2017 stuff. Uh, it's all Articat stuff, which isn't surprising. They're all ZR 9000s, which is a weird way to... Um, I guess. I mean, there's, there's lots of submodels, so that's fine. But again, this is going to be U.S. dollars, and uh, we're not going to be building our sled in U.S. dollars. I'm Canadian, so we're going to be building it in Canadian dollars. So 2018, we're looking at 17 for, um, according to this list, the most expensive sled. I think uh, I think we can rack it up a little bit higher than that. I'm not even going to wait for Cat's release or Yamaha's release because my bet is that um, whatever we build here today is going to be more expensive than that. So let's check it out. Let's start with uh, let's let's start with Ski Doo first here. Like all these um, snow checks are, are all uh, I think I think they're all ordered out already. So I don't even think we, even if we built one, we couldn't order it anyway. I tried to build a free ride, but it basically I couldn't really add much to it. So I think we're gonna have to build off the summit. Basically, that free rides you're looking at 18 for it. Uh, yeah, look at this. Due to high demand, um, is already sold out for the 23 season. That's uh, that's their new gauge. So I don't even think it's gonna let us build the most expensive sled we can because it won't let me pull down anything from these drop menus. Okay, let's go to Polaris then. Let's see if they let us uh, play with the menus, even if they're um, sold out of stuff. So let's go right to what I think is going to be the most expensive build. Add some colors here. Oh, yeah. What's going on with the site? What's dropping frames? Oh, the okay. Firefoxes. Perfect. Oh, boy. We're not even done yet. <laughs> we haven't even added anything yet. Electric start. High elevation clutching. Don't get an option there. Go with the high handlebars. More material, more uh, more price, right? Front bumper, upgrade that. Gotta have matrix grill inserts. Gotta have rear bumper. Gotta have flood lighting. Oh, here's the windshield we want. Hey, it's the Brandt bag. Well, we have to get the Brandt bag. We have to. Uh, oh, skiing snowboard rack is only 80 bucks. Yeah, let's let's turn up let's turn up the price a little bit more. Uh, I'm not going to add that because that actually isn't part of the sled. That's more like your safety gear. <gasps> Are we going to be able to hit 30 grand? We might be able to. RMK e-start. Well, it's letting us put it on, so we're putting it on. What? We weren't able to hit 30 grand? Well, why the hell not? Ooh, my Lanta. So there you go. 30 grand for this thing out the door. Holy crap. I remember a few years back, um, Cat actually had a promotion on their alphas where you could get like a premium alpha, so a hardcore edition. I think this is 2020. You get a premium alpha, hardcore edition, so the upgraded shocks, the upgraded tunnel gussets, and everything. That was going out the door for 14.5 plus dealer cost. Oh, we haven't added tax or anything on this. Okay, so it's not going to let me do the dealer add-ons like the PDI and the freight and stuff like that. So by the time you get this sled out the door, we are at 30 grand on it. Sometimes I know that these um, crossover sleds or two-ring sleds, they can get very expensive very quick. Titan, that sounds expensive. 
Uh, yeah, Titan. Let's go check it out. Oh, we're already we're starting at 18. Oh, here we go. We can upgrade it to the uh, the Pro Star right there. Um, that's their new four-stroke engine. Uh, is that the good display? I think this display is already sold out. Time to accessorize. I don't think I'm gonna be able to crank this one up as high as I cranked up the uh, the RMK. What is this abomination? <laughs> Did I make a Bubba Gump snowmobile? Well, if we're gonna have a sled that big, we gotta have a little inch on it, right? What do you guys think? I only was able to crank up the price to 26,000 on this one. I thought I would be able to go higher. Uh, somebody on Discord sent me this. Have you guys seen this? Um, they only lasted for about, I think it was like three years. If you've never seen them before, they're like a, um, they're ba they are literally a snowmobile side by side. I know those were like really expensive when they came out, but they probably still were not as much as like one of these RMKs we built. And we can't build a free ride because they're already sold out of them. I know for last year's stuff, all the manufacturers definitely had a problem getting their sleds out. I know even after the 2023's release, you guys were commenting saying that, oh, just got my 2022, ordered it exactly a year ago. I can definitely see how that is annoying, especially when you're dishing out like 20, 30 grand for sleds. It seems like the manufacturers are making less sleds, uh, but charging more. It definitely seems to me like manufacturers are starting to price themselves out of the game what are you going to be at what, what's that thing going to be worth in two years is it worth 20 is it who's going to buy it um it's uh we live in an interesting time in the sled world where maybe we're getting to the point where just simpler is better sure we got all these sleds that can go to the top of the biggest mountain we got turbocharged sleds we got electric sleds uh, we got four-stroke turbos. We got all sorts of fun stuff. We're probably living in the best time for snowmobiling right now. We're pushing these engines further than we ever could have imagined, and we're probably, in all honesty, we're probably getting to the end of the two-stroke engine in snowmobiles. I know you guys don't want to hear it, but let's check back in 10, 15 years' time and... I don't think we're gonna see these things anymore. I really don't. I don't think we're gonna see these things off the, the off the off the floor anymore. Polaris has their first. I don't know if it's their first. Maybe I shouldn't say first. But Polaris is now releasing fully electric uh, UTVs onto the market. Yeah. So let me know what you guys think. Um, if you think twenty grand is a reasonable price to spend on a sled, if you really went out and you got that uh, 850 turbo decked right out. That's about it for today's video. I'd love to know your thoughts. I'd love to know if you snow checked. I'd love to know what you guys think about some of these new sleds that are coming out and some of the price points of them. Thanks everyone for watching today's video. If you like today's video, there are tons of other videos. I'll leave an interesting playlist up there in the corner and we'll see everybody in the next video very soon. We're looking for a project sled. Should I, should I put some time into like a fun project sled that we build over the summer? If anybody has an old sled that's just sitting around in their barn in like the South Central Alberta area, uh, let me know. Maybe we can make deal. See everybody in the next video. Bye everyone. It sound right, boy.